see a difference between your team this game and last game? Well, I, I thought we fought a lot better in, in this game. I, I thought we competed, I'd say, for about three quarters in this game. In the second quarter, we kind of we got undisciplined, went crazy, threw the ball there, you know, just took bad shots, did not make them defend us. When they, we made them guard us, we actually did some, some really good things. What causes those kind of lapses? Well, I mean, it's, it's just a little bit of, of focus. It's concentration. It's knowing what you can do. Okay, it's like I always tell them: when you're open, there's probably a reason. They're not guarding you. So if you catch it and you're wide open, you might really want to think twice before you shoot it, because they want you to. And we've got a few of them that don't quite understand that yet. Like they catch it, they're open, they're like shocked. Don't be shocked. They ain't guarding you. So God forbid, don't shoot it. You know, and it's it's one of those, if Asia Dirt took 27 shots tonight, which I, she could have taken 20 more for all I care, because she works at it. She's a hard, our hardest worker. She spends the most time in, in the gym, and I've got no problem with it. You know, I've got some of them that just don't quite understand the level that we're trying to play at. Cool. And... You know, I, I thought she did great. I thought she worked her tail off. I thought she's she's a competitor. It's like I said, I mean, there's about four, three minutes there at the end where we shoot and Courtney's the only one going to rebound. And I promise you, that's not what we told him. Okay, that, that was not the plan. The, the rest of them just didn't, you know, just didn't think it was important enough. You know, and that, that's, that's concerning. It's really concerning. Because we've got a Kentucky team coming in here on Sunday that if we do the same thing, you get the same result. You know, I'm just, I, yeah. What are your game plan for Maryland? What are your priorities you trying to kind of take away? And how did you feel the execution was? Well, I mean, I, I, you know, we're trying to not let Breonna Jones get on the low block, but that obviously did not work out very well. Um, you know, like just step around in front or make her, you know, when they get you that low, then then you got a front. Uh, and then... Walker Kim Kimbro did a fantastic job. She, you know, she played her heart out. Uh, she came up with big baskets when they need them. She gets to the free throw line when it's a, uh, we're up to, you know, to tie it. I mean, though those two are special players. Uh, so Slocum, I had the opportunity to, to to work with her at, at USA Basketball. She's just a gym rat. She loves the game, you know, and that's when when you love the game, it, it shows. You know, like, she's just out there. She's going everywhere. You know, it's one of those you can't question her effort because she goes hard. Now, she might, might, might not make the best decision every time, but it's not because she's not playing hard. You mentioned not getting back on defense there at the end of the game. Do players know that they're doing that at the time, or does it just pop out on video? Is that something you have to show them over and over again, or they know at the time? Well, Howie, I, I really don't know how to tell you that, answer that question. I mean, like, if somebody's running past you and you don't know they're running past you, we got problems. Is like, that, God that forbid, I, like, I, I mean, it's kind of like if you're going 60 and the speed limit's 55 and you get pulled over and you're like, what, what, what'd you pull me over for? I was only going 60, speeding. <laughs> like, so when they run past you, if you can't figure out that you're not running, boy, it's, it's not good. Is it a conditioning thing? Is exhaustion? Is no, I don't, it, I don't know what it is. I don't know what it is. Heart. How about heart? How about heart? Jeff, what's the difference between you, you said that they fought better this game, but to fight to close out the game? What's the difference? It, it you 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 got to have a will. You got to have a will. There's sometimes you know they're they're tired too. Walker Kimber played 40 minutes. Confrey played thir uh, 39. They're tired too. But who's got the will? Like I, like I said out there on the radio, we just live right now the generation of kids that are coming through. Everybody gets a damn trophy. Okay? You, you finish last, you come home with, with, with a trophy. You kidding me? I mean, what's that teaching kids? It's okay to lose. And unfortunately, it's our society. It, it's what we're building for. And it's not just in basketball, it's in life. 
You know, everybody thinks they should get a job. Everybody thinks they should get a good job. No, that's not the way it works. But unfortunately, that's what we are preparing for. Because you finish fifth, you, you walk home with this nice trophy, parents are all excited. No. I mean, I, not to be too blunt, but you're a loser. Like, we're losers. We got beat. So you lost. There is no trophy for us. But unfortunately, the way everybody, the way these kids are brought up today, there is a trophy. Because nobody wants anybody to have hard feelings. Nobody wants to get their feelings hurt. Well, unfortunately, in the real world, I'm not sure how it is with, with, with your all's jobs. But with mine, if you lose enough, you get fired. And that's just the way it is. And I, I'm trying to explain to our kids, like, hey, I'm trying to prepare you for the real world. Because when you go to get a job, there's competition. And what are you going to do to stand out? But unfortunately, we're not preparing these kids before they get to us, at least, to be ready for that. You know, when you play three, four AAU games in one day, you lose three of them, and then you win the, la the, the last one, and everybody goes home happy. You're one in three. I mean, you know, the, the, I know it's a long time ago, but yeah, God darn, the days we played, you, when you lost, you went home. There was no friendship bracket. You know, let's go on the left side to the friendship game so everybody can play two more games. No, you went home. You went home a loser, and then you worked at it if you wanted to be good. You figured out a way, hey, I, I, I want to get better. So for us, we got to figure out a way. I, I've got kids here that probably wanted to play more. Well, that's great. Well, you know what? You're not going to if you don't come, come to practice and start playing better than the ones that are playing. Because, again, it's not equal opportunity around here. How much of that heart and that will and that fire you're kind of talking about, in your experience, can, can be imparted from the coaching staff and how much of it has to come? Well, I mean, I, we're trying, I promise you. It's, it's, it's my personality. I mean, I, I hate to lose. See, I personally, if you don't hate to lose more than you like to win, you got problems. I expect to win. The <laughs> coaches jump up and down when they win. No, hell, I expect to win. So why am I going to jump up and down? But, boy, I hate losing. Absolutely hate it. And if you don't hate it, then that's the problem. If our kids aren't sick tomorrow, and if it's not in the pit of their stomach on Sunday going, I've had enough, then we, we do have serious problems. Now, there are, there are going to be some, you know what, if we sprint it back and we go out in defense and, and they make shots, they make shots. You know, like Walker Kimber made a few really tough shots. There's nothing you can do. Good shots. But when you give them a layup because you're not sprinting back, well, that's a problem. You know, and that's, you're not going to win every game. I, I'm not foolish enough to think that. Okay, I'd like to. But I'm not going, we're not going to. But the effort has to be there. The execution has to be there. If you lose because you miss shots, that's fine. Now, losing because you make free throw, miss free throws is a different story. I mean, I got Brown and Jackson and a Asia Durr going one for three at the free throw line. I got two guards going one for three at the free throw line. It's, un it's unacceptable. You, 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 it, it's a big problem. Courtney goes 0 for 2, and I think it was like a 2 or 3 point game at the time she went 0 for 2. Like, you just can't do it. And I'm not calling any of them out, it's just the facts. Like, it's facts. See, and this is the problem. Everybody's going to be like, well, you called your player. No, I didn't. It's just facts. It's on a stat sheet. You know, it's okay, people. Like, I've got to sit here and go home tonight and figure out how are we going to fix this. Because it's on me. It's on me. I recruited these kids, so that it's on me. And I got no problem saying that. But damn it, what we're doing, it, it's not just status quo. We aren't going to come, come to practice and hold hands and sing kumbaya. Promise you that. So uh, we'll see who wants to be here. Because it's work. We're at a point right now, it's work. You know, you got to come out here and you got to work to be great. And that's what we're trying to instill in these kids. It's not just about winning basketball games. It's about winning in life. And I want them to be great. I don't want them to just settle to be average. Why well, go to college and spend all that time studying to be average? I mean, who wants to do that? Paul might have, but the rest of us don't.
more? Hell, I got all the time in the world. <laughs> <laughs> Some of us are dead Hey, what do you got? I think we're good. Uh, Kentucky, well, Kentucky on Sunday. I mean, how are you trying to surround the time for Sunday? Hey, well, you, you, tomorrow practice. We, we start tomorrow practice. We're, we're, we're going to get after it. we got to get prepared. we got to be smart. I mean, because I did have some kids play a, a bunch of minutes, so I'm not going to kill them. But we we got to be mentally involved. we got to be mentally on point and know exactly what the game plan is going to be for Sunday. No doubt. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate it.